Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Joy Blogs with Cynthia. Today is Monday, May 31st. It is the last day of May, the first day of the week, and it is a holiday today. It is Memorial Day. And for many of you, you may be off of work today, so I hope that you have a great holiday and rest, enjoy life, and just find all the joy that God wants you to have. We have been looking at devotions under the topic of protection, and today's devotion, listen to this title, Safe and Sound in Jesus. Isn't that just comforting? Oh my gosh. Well, I don't know about you, but I cannot wait to hear what he has to say to us, especially with a title like that. So let's get started. I know it seems the world is against you, and sometimes it very well may be. Your circumstances become overwhelming, and you can't see a way through, much less out. Those who once seemed to care turned out not to, and people who claimed to be your friend ended up being your enemy instead. And you thought you had control over things, but you just don't. Even with such despair, there is no need to fear. Your life is safe and sound in my hands. Don't worry about those who talk behind your back spreading rumors and false statements about you. I am your defender. Nothing and no one can affect you that I don't first allow. And if I allow it, I will use it for your benefit. Let my justice overcome your desire to avenge. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse those who curse you. I keep my word. You must keep your own heart clean before me and trust that though you will have negative forces against you, they will not overcome you. I am with you to deliver you. I am your hope and your defense, and I hold your future in my hands. Nothing is too difficult for me, and I rule over all. So no matter what happens, trust me, and you'll never be disappointed. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 says, No weapon that has been made to be used against you will succeed. Oh my goodness, how beautiful is all of that, my friends. Our life is safe and sound in God's hands. Oh, isn't that just so comforting and so beautiful? So therefore, we really need to keep our heart clean before God. And we need to let God be our hope and our defense. And we need to always be reassured that he holds our future in his hands. We need to trust him to handle those that try to come against us and try to bring us harm. Because after all, he rules over everything and everyone. Well, I hope you have a great Monday, a fantastic holiday. Be safe. And I'm going to send you off with a great big hug. And I cannot wait to come back and be with you first thing bright and early in the morning. Hugs, everyone. Oh, squeeze so tight. Oh, I love you. Have a great Monday. Bye. Mm -hmm.